Hey everybody, welcome back to RC RC Cars. Today we're going to continue building the 3 Racing Cero Sport and we're going to be working with bag 3 which is going to be the front and rear bulkhead installation and then when we turn the page we're going to be also working on the drive train installation. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to work with this motor mount piece right here, and we're going to install the fan. I think I'm going to install the fan this way, um, because I'm going to let this wire go under the motor, because it's going to go, let's see, which side is the front? So this side's the back, so it's going to go uh, right around here is where the motor is going to go. ESC's behind here, somewhere like this, I think. Yeah, I think it's gonna be like right here. So I'm going to have the wire go under and I believe the receiver is gonna be right here. So that's my plan. And we're gonna start with this piece right here. Let's find that, it should be this, very small piece. And I'm gonna use a 12 millimeter screw, it's a button head. Uh, barely goes through, so I guess we'll go with the 16. I hope that doesn't bother anything. Uh, let's see, so this is going to fit through here, and it's going to be using this screw through this hole. Let's look for these two screws which are going to be the socket heads and the two spacers should be so this will fit through there and that will be the correct All right, and we're done with this part. Step two, going to start hooking on the belts. So let's find this first, this little very tiny shim. Should be this one right here. On to there first. And then this, uh, which is the spur gear. Uh, this is gonna end up being the spur gear. That's going to go on here, and then a M3 six millimeter, six millimeter. It's a button head. Shouldn't be too many of those around. Yep, there's only one. Okay, and then that O-ring should be this clear one right here like that and then this is going to thread on very interesting setup I've never seen this before there we go very solid, by the way. Okay, so, and then the uh, belts are going to go in this way. So the shorter one's going to go in first. And it's going to go there. And then the longer one will go towards the front of the car. All right, so let's see how they work out. And we're going to mount it into these three holes, I believe. One, two, three. So it should be right here. Like that. Um, it's just going to be a bunch of these um, flathead screws, the short ones.
All right, so it should look something like this when you're done. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so over here, we're gonna work on step one and then two, and then this is step three. So let's start with this uh, steering link right there. So that is probably gonna be that piece right there. And we need to put a ball stud on top and two in the front. And they're all the same. So we should just be able to grab any three of them. And one here and then two in the front. Okay, so let's see. Step two going to build this right here and we're going to be the steering arms ah uh, let's grab those two first so first few times i saw this i thought this was just more servo horns but it is the steering arms all right uh let's start from the bottom so we're going to have these these should be um, that right there. So the bearing is this one. Bearing is a bearing. And then this. And then this brass ring. And then this bearing again. And then this black collar and looks like the one with the ring the smaller collar is going to face the bearing so it's going to be like that and this side is countersunk for the screw so that all makes sense okay. so still good movement yes Let's do the next one. I'm just going to start with that. And then the bearing. Then the arm. And then the brass ring. And then the second bearing. And then the countersunk washer, which is this right here. Oops. And the screw. And then step three is to put them all together. Um, there's another bearing here. Should be this one right here. Here's the other one. Okay. And those are going to go underneath here. And we're going to use a titanium low profile machine screws. So I'm going to need these two tiny, tiny washers. We'll go on to this. And this will screw on to the arm in the front right here. And it says to not over tighten here. Don't over tighten that. Make sure you still have some motion. Now we're going to get to the bulkheads. So let's find bulkhead B and then put those. Um... Okay, well, let's just put them here and see what happens. Um, it's going to be the last hole I believe so two uh, remaining ball studs are going to go into the last hole right here All right so these are going to be for that side so let's see how that works out these right here these three holes and it's just going to sit like this the center stud's going to index into that middle hole. And then the other two will be screw holes. 
And it's just going to be more of the short flathead screws. Okay, and then those two on the other side. Okay, something similar for the back. And just let me make sure these are still fine. So same thing. Um, this side is flat, so this one's going to be right here. All right, let's see where this steering uh, assembly goes. For the steering assembly, we kind of have to pay attention because this front belt needs to go under here. So it's going to go under that right there. So let me... Uh, screw on one side. Let me just do um, this side right here. All right, and then let's swing that belt here and put that underneath that there. And now we can uh, put on the other screw. All right, so just make sure the belt is underneath the steering assembly. All right, so let's see on this side now. Um, this is going to be the front. And the side with the screw is going to be that side, um, like that. And we're going to slip these on, which came from this. And there are marks here on each one. And these need to be pointing down. And it's going to be one whole... Um, one notch clockwise from the very bottom. That's the default tension. So this is going to be a little bit tricky, but we'll make it work. Okay, so you just set that in there. And then you turn this. I am way off at the set at the moment. And I'm going to use my goggles. So that's tension properly. And now the back side. Let's do that. Well, I'll fix that when I lock it down. Okay. So now the back side, we have to do something similar. Let's grab the diff and the diff body. This side is going to go that way. And on this side, there is the notch is going to be the one uh, one before the bottom uh, clockwise so one notch counterclockwise from the very bottom okay all right so we're not going to be um locking this in just yet. So yeah, the next page, part four, is where we're going to lock down the uh, shock towers um, and lock this in, lock this position in. So I'm not too concerned about it right now. Um, I think before we do the next part, we need to make sure those are lined up in the correct spot. All right. So that's it. 
we have done bag three and we installed the front and rear bulkhead. We um, tensioned the belts and we also installed the uh, spur gear onto this uh, motor mount right here. Um, we also put on the fan. So we're done. We're done with uh, bag three. So if you like this content and you want to continue watching the three racing Cero Sport build, uh, make sure you like this video and subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.